is Wednesday, Wednesday the 24th of January, I think it's Wednesday, pretty sure it's Wednesday, it's hump day, Woo! and, oh I can't frame this, I gotta have to balance this over here, um, my shirt, I'm wearing a Kirby shirt, he's a cute boy, and it's a beautiful shirt, um, I got this shirt in Orlando, which is, you know, we were there uh, this weekend, and this is the first time I'm wearing it, so I'm excited. Uh, talking about that too, I didn't mention this. So part of the uh, the excitement I had in Orlando, or at least in Universal specifically, was to see if there was going to be any sort of Nintendo presence, right? Uh, Super Nintendo World obviously is opened up in Universal Japan as well as Universal Hollywood, and it is on the way to Universal Florida. That park, I don't believe, is going to open until 2025, so we're, you know, 11 months away from that. But still, I was thinking, you know, there's a decent chance that they might have some some merch or at least some sort of representation there, right? It would, it would stand to reason. It would make sense from a marketing perspective. Lo and behold, they did not. <laughs> they had absolutely none, which was really disappointing. But uh, I also came to learn that that park... Uh, so, let me back up. If you're not familiar with Universal Studios, at least Florida, that's the only one I'm familiar with just because it's the only one I've gone to, um, it's actually a grouping of multiple parks. There's Universal Studios, and there's Universal uh, Islands of Adventure, and those are the two parks that we went to this last weekend. And then there's also a water park called Volcano Bay, which, of course, we did not go to. It was cold. And they are all, like, on the same sort of property. Like, if we're looking at this frame here, they're all, like, bloop, bloop, bloop. They're all kind of, like, right here. And then maybe 15 miles this way is going to be another park, and that is the park that Super Nintendo World is going to be a part of. I forget what it is specifically they're going to title that park, but it's a little bit interesting to me that it's, like, off yonder. Either which way, though, the point of this is that I am slightly disappointed that there was no Nintendo representation at the park outright, but thankfully I was able to get this sweet Kirby shirt at GameStop, actually. Yeah, uh, we, we stopped there. Serena got the, the Charmander. I was looking back at those vlogs as I was editing them today, and I didn't do nearly enough talking. <laughs> I really didn't, uh, so maybe I'll talk about it a little bit now. It was a great time. It really was, and we are very thankful to my mother for purchasing this, those tickets for Christmas. Otherwise, we would not have been able to do that. It was convenient, too, because while we are closing out our tenure here in Florida, this was the one time we were actually able to take advantage of the Florida resident discount. You save a lot of money. Your tickets are so much cheaper, like a lot cheaper if you're a Florida resident. And uh, we had to kind of game it a little bit, too, because you have to have a Florida ID. I don't. I've gone this whole time with my Colorado ID still, but... I guess the the manager at the ticketing place either liked me or just felt pity for me or something, but I was able to talk to her and be like, hey, I swear I live here, and she believed me. So it worked out. It worked out. It worked out. Either which way, though, probably the most exciting part of my day was editing that vlog. Uh, it, mm, they were long. Uh, obviously, by now, if you're watching this vlog, you've already seen those vlogs, and you know just how long they were, but it's crazy. Uh, I am I am happy that I was able to get a little bit better at recording, like, the event that it was, right? The day, that's something that I've wanted to improve upon. Something that I don't think I've done the greatest at with the vlogs is when something significant happens or something fun. I am, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I'm very much, like, in the moment. I'm very much just participating. Um, and I was able to find ways to, to capture some footage of that this weekend. So I'll continue to do that, obviously, as you can tell. Nothing exciting happened today, <laughs> but, you know, that's just gonna, gonna be the case, at least for the next few days, because goodness gracious, this time next week, yeah, maybe this time in eight days, things gonna be real exciting, in both the best and worst ways. Oh, it's gonna get crazy! It's going to get crazy. Uh, no telling how long the backlog will push out to. Right now, I have it directly in a week, which is nice. Hopefully, I can maintain the weeks, the, the, the week offset, right? Like, you are getting this on the following Wednesday after the Wednesday that I record this, and hopefully, we can continue that to be the case, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Moving presents a host of problems, some of which are unforeseeable. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Either which way. I'm going to wrap this one up here because, again, 
nothing crazy happened today. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that said, I hope that you are able, well, to check out the vlogs that I spent so long editing of Universal. And number two, I hope that you're able to bear with me in case there is any unforeseen pauses and uploading. But I suppose we'll see what happens. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.